not everyone likes sad movies, and while it's understandable, I personally love them. When I go into movies, sometimes it is to be entertained, but sometimes I just want to think or feel some emotions. So it was a no-brainer for me that when I saw this sad movie iceberg by Reddit user I'm a vegan shish kebab, I knew I had to make this video. Like all my other icebergs, I'm gonna run through these pretty quickly and without spoilers since there are a lot of them. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Patch Adams follows a suicidal man in a mental institution who begins to develop an interest in medicine and decides to become a doctor. He finds that humor helps with recovery, so along with one of his friends, builds a medical institution for patients without insurance. This movie deals a lot with finding the good out of the bad and is also based on a true story. October Sky follows a man dedicated to building rockets growing up with a father who wants him to work in the coal mines. This was also based on a true story. I Am Sam follows the uplifting story of an intellectually disabled father fighting to secure his rights to parent his daughter. The Christmas Shoes follows interwoven stories of different people dealing with a range of problems, from dead mothers to crumbling marriages. The Edge of Seventeen is a really funny coming-of-age movie, but also a serious one that deals with relationships with your friends and families and how those change as you age. The Notebook is a really well-known romance movie we probably all know. Wonder follows the life of a young boy named Augie who has a facial deformity. It's a pretty uplifting story that deals with bullying and overcoming our differences. Lion follows the life of a young boy from India who gets separated from his family at a young age. Unable to find them, he gets adopted by an Australian couple and 20 years later he sets out to find his hometown. Also based on a true story. Boyhood follows a young boy over a 12 year period in his life. Like all stories about growing up, it's a little sad, more so even because this movie was filmed over a 12 year period, making it incredibly realistic. Howl's Moving Castle is a hard film to explain because of so many fantastical elements this movie has, but it deals with themes like aging, feminism, war, and compassion. A Monster Calls follows a young boy with a terminally ill mother visited by a tree monster that tells him three stories. This movie deals with the pain of letting a person go, especially one that is suffering so much and has a twist that hits you right in the heart. Pay It Forward deals with the importance and the effects of helping other people. We follow the lives of three troubled people affected by these decisions. The Fox and the Hound follows two friends in the wilderness, learning to overcome their natural aggression towards the other species. A Star is Born follows the relationship between two musicians, one an up-and-comer and the other one an already famous musician that is slowly succumbing to years of depression and alcoholism. AI Artificial Intelligence follows a young android boy that is programmed to be able to feel love. Fun fact, this is the last movie Stanley Kubrick worked on before his death. Dear Evan Hansen is a film adaptation of the stage play of the same name following an anxious boy who pretends to be the friend of a recent suicide victim. The Tale of Princess Kaguya is a fantasy story that deals with a mythical creature wanting to live out a normal life. It just tells a very beautiful and original story about wanting to belong. Moulin Rouge tells the story of the long-lasting love between a writer and an actress. American Beauty follows a depressed, middle-aged man who despite all of his success can't find happiness in the world. He soon falls in love and becomes obsessed with his daughter's best friend and begins to look for a new meaning in life. Coco tells the story of a young boy from Mexico who travels to the land of the dead to learn more about some family secrets and where his love of music comes from. Hachi, A Dog's Tale is a very sad story about never letting go of love, even after the other person is already gone. A Straight Story follows an elderly man traveling cross-country on a lawnmower to make amends with his dying brother. It's actually based on a true story and was shot on location on the path the real Alvin Strait took. What Dreams May Come follows the spirit of a dead man as he deals with his own death. His wife, also distraught with grief, commits suicide, sending her to hell. The man then decides to go to hell and try to save his wife. Green Mile follows the falsely accused John Coffey, a gentle and magical giant as he awaits his execution. In the months leading up to it, he forms relationships with the guards and prisoners on his cell block. Stand By Me follows four boys as they travel to find a dead body. It's narrated and told through flashback, giving the entire movie a bit of a nostalgic feel to it, making us all remember when we were young and life was easy. 
About Time follows a man who learns he has the ability to time travel. He uses the ability to try to improve his and his loved one's lives, but soon realizes life is better played out the one time, and he has to enjoy what he has. Perks of Being a Wallflower deals with the coming of age of a deeply traumatized boy as he befriends older high school students. It's a realistic look at growing up and high school friendships. Freedom Writers follows the true story of Erin Gruel, who inspires her inner city class of students to keep a journal and do good in English class when the school had already decided to give up on them. Big Fish follows a son trying to really get to know his dying father, who continues to tell him exaggerated stories about his life. The Pursuits of Happiness follows the real story of Chris Gardner as he and his son deal with homelessness and poverty. Road to Perdition follows a father and son trying to find the man who murdered their family during the Great Depression. Forrest Gump follows a mentally challenged man who goes on various misadventures, all while pursuing a relationship with his childhood crush, Jenny. Call Me By Your Name follows the inevitably doomed romance of Elio and Oliver in 80s Italy as they live together in Elio's father's house for one summer. Anomalisa follows a lonely man who views everyone as the same until he meets a unique woman he falls in love with. Apparently this disorder where you perceive everyone to be literally the same person is a real thing called the Fregoli Delusion. Synecdoche, New York follows the theater production of a slowly dying playwright as he tries to create something to leave his mark on the world. Five Feet Apart follows the relationship of two cystic fibrosis patients who fall in love but can never get closer than six feet due to their condition. Love Story follows the relationship of Oliver and Jenny, two high school sweethearts who get married but have their time cut short when one of them gets diagnosed with a terminal illness. Philadelphia follows the story of Andrew Beckett and the court case in which he sued his employer for discrimination against him for being gay and having AIDS. Dead Poet Society follows John Keating as he inspires his class through his teaching about life and poetry. Gone with the Wind is the infamous love story following Scarlett and Ashley during the Reconstruction era of the American Civil War. The Trip to Bountiful follows an elderly lady on a trip to return to see her hometown one last time before she passes away. Watership Down follows a small group of bunnies traveling to find a new home to build their burrow after their old one is destroyed. Despite following bunnies, the movie deals with heavy themes like religion and fascism. Boys in the Hood follows three young boys all growing up in a Los Angeles hood. It depicts the struggles and the reality of lots of kids growing up in these situations. Crash deals with racism in the United States, but the story seems more like loosely connected instances of racism without any meaning or solution behind it. The Fault in Our Stars follows the romance of two high schoolers suffering from cancer. It's tragic for exactly the reason you would expect. Blue is the Warmest Colors follows the romance of two French girls. It feels like a really realistic and intimate portrayal of a relationship growing and falling apart. Foxcatcher follows the scandal surrounding John Dupont when he hired gold medal wrestling champion to coach the new Olympic wrestling team. After losing, however, John Dupont murdered Olympic wrestler David Schultz. The Shawshank Redemption follows a falsely incarcerated man as he adjusts to his new reality and makes plans to escape. Blood Diamond is a story following the production and transportation of diamonds mined and sold to warlords to finance future conflicts. Brokeback Mountain follows the relationship of two American cowboys over time, confronting various different struggles throughout their lives. The Color Purple follows the life of an African American woman and shows the struggles that comes with living as one in America. It deals with heavy themes like sexism, racism, abuse, poverty, and incest. Midsommar follows Danny and her boyfriend and his friends going on a trip to visit an isolated Swedish community to learn more about their traditions and customs. Danny has just learned about the death of her family, and soon the community begins acting in very strange ways. Seven Pounds follows a man who kills himself and gives his organs to six people in a way to make up for the people he himself killed. The Impossible tells the story of a family who is separated on a beach resort once a tsunami hits. The Deep End of the Ocean follows a family who suffers the loss of a three-year-old child who mysteriously vanishes one day, only to reappear to them years later introducing himself by a different name. Interstellar follows a father who leaves his children behind as he travels to a wormhole to hopefully find habitable land for humanity. 
Still, Alice follows a woman who gets diagnosed with early onset dementia shortly after her 50th birthday. Dementia sucks, but it's even more heartbreaking when it's someone so young affected by it. The Naked Island follows a family that lives as the only inhabitants of a Japanese island. The film focuses on the hardships and limited opportunities that come with living and being born in this situation. Goodwill Hunting follows a math teacher who discovers the janitor at his college is secretly an academic genius. Judy follows the tragic life of Judy Garland, one of Hollywood's biggest stars who died tragically young after a brief life full of substance abuse issues and abusive people. Manchester by the Sea follows a man suffering from depression who has to take in and care for his nephew after the sudden death of his brother. Dallas Buyers Club tells the true story of Ron Woodruff, a man who contracted HIV in the 80s when it was highly stigmatized. He went on to smuggle and distribute experimental AIDS treatment by creating the Dallas Buyers Club. A Time to Kill is a legal drama that follows the court case against Carl Lee, a man who killed the two men who raped his daughter and walked free. Cinema Paradiso follows the friendship of an 8-year-old boy and middle-aged projectionist shortly after the end of the Second World War. Terms of Endearment follows the rocky relationship of a mother and daughter over the span of 30 years. Monster follows the real story of Eileen Warnos, a prostitute who murdered seven of her clients and her relationship with her girlfriend, who later went on to testify against her. Revolutionary Road follows the slowly deteriorating marriage of a couple in the mid-50s. Her follows a depressed, lonely man who begins a romantic relationship with his AI virtual assistant. 5050 follows a young radio host who gets diagnosed with cancer and has to come to terms with the fact that he might die. Magnolia follows several stories of love, life, meaning, violence, and drugs in California. Titanic is the classic love story of Jack and Rose aboard the doomed Titanic. A Marriage Story follows a recently divorced couple as they learn to adapt their relationship to their new situation. My Sister's Keeper follows a young girl who refuses to donate her organs and blood to her dying sister. One Hour Photo follows a lonely man who works as a photo technician who becomes obsessed with a family that he develops photos for. He takes copies of the photos home for himself and soon discovers the husband's affair. Brian's Song follows the true story of Brian Piccolo, a football player diagnosed with terminal cancer. The movie also chronicles his real relationship with Gail Sayers, the first interracial roommates in the NFL. Million Dollar Baby follows an amateur boxer who begins training under an aging boxing instructor. Things take a turn for the worst when she breaks her neck in a fight. Fried Green Tomatoes follows an unsatisfied housewife who begins a relationship with an elderly woman in a retirement home. There they tell each other stories about their lives. Never Let Me Go follows a love triangle in a British dystopia where people can live a lot longer than normal. Blue Valentine tells the story of a relationship during the honeymoon stages of it to the years after their dissolution of marriage. The film is presented in a non-linear narrative, so we get moments of their love contrasted by arguments and fights which can be difficult to see. Ordinary Love tells the story of an aging, happily married couple whose lives are shattered when she is suddenly diagnosed with breast cancer. The Road tells the story of a father and son traveling through an apocalyptic wasteland. It contains several scenes of hopelessness and suffering, and even one where the father has to teach his kid how to commit suicide. Memento follows a man with short-term memory trying to find the men who killed his wife. Ordinary People follows a boy who attempts suicide after feeling guilt for the accidental death of his brother. Returning from the hospital, he attempts to reconnect with his mother and emotionally distant father. The Fountain tells three stories of love and loss, revolving around a doomed queen, a scientist trying to save his wife, and a man on a journey being reminded of his lost love. The Theory of Everything tells the true love story between physicist Stephen Hawking and Jane Wilde right before he develops the neurological condition that would render him bound to a wheelchair for life. Boys Don't Cry tells the true story of Brandon Tina, a 21-year-old trans man who was raped and murdered in Nebraska during the late 90s. Her death was one of many due to hate crimes towards LGBTQ people and became a big point to those lobbying for hate crime laws. Tokyo Story details a family growing apart shortly after the end of World War II. It's difficult to watch these moments of people saying goodbye for the last time, but really reflective of Japan and its history during its post-war era. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button follows a boy who was born aging backwards. 
One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest follows a man who is put in a mental institution who inspires the other inmates to stand up to abusive nurses. Pan's Labyrinth follows Ophelia, a young Spanish girl told that she is the daughter of Satan and has to complete some trials to prove herself. Set to the backdrop of her cruel stepfather, a violent army general getting ready to launch an attack. The Virgin Suicides follows a boy's investigation into the apparently random and without reason suicide of all of the Lisbon sisters. Shutter Island follows a man tasked with investigating the disappearance of a patient, but he soon realizes everything is not as it seems. 1917 follows two soldiers tasked with delivering a message to another squad that is planning a doomed attack. Moonlight follows a young gay black man as he grows up and faces the difficulties of life, family, and acceptance. Make Way for Tomorrow follows an elderly couple trying to find a new place to live, but none of their children will accept both of them at the same time. Leaving Las Vegas follows a suicidal alcoholic who leaves his family, loses his job, and moves to Nevada to drink himself to death. Hungry Hearts follows two young parents who come in conflict after the birth of their son. The mother becomes obsessed with alternative medicine and continues to infect their child with it, slowly starving him and robbing him of any nutrition. The Plague Dogs follows two dogs who escape an animal testing facility and try to make their own way out in the wilderness. When the Wind Blows follows an elderly couple stuck in the outfall of a nuclear bomb. Children of Men is a very bleak film that follows a group trying to protect the only woman who has become pregnant in years. The Messenger follows a US Army Staff Sergeant as he comes to terms with the things he's currently doing in the military. The English Patient tells the love story of an injured man and his nurse at an Italian church at the end of World War II. Room follows a young boy and his mother who are kept captive in a room for seven years and how they adapt to society once they are freed. The Diving Bell and the Butterfly adapts the memoir of the same name following someone who suffered a stroke that left him with locked-in syndrome, a disorder that paralyzes a person while leaving their brain completely normal. Southpaw follows a former great wrestler down on his luck fighting to regain his happiness back. Slingblade follows a mentally disabled man who killed his mother when he was 12, being released from prison and returning to his hometown to work on cars. Amor follows an elderly couple struggling to stay together and take care of each other after one of them suffers a stroke. Fruitvale Station follows the heartbreaking true story of the final 24 hours of Oscar Grant's life, a man who was murdered unjustly by the police after an altercation on a train. Old Boy follows a man released from captivity who begins a relationship with a mysterious woman and is tasked with finding the people responsible for his captivity. Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance follows a deaf mute man struggling to afford his sister's surgery, holding the child of a wealthy man for ransom. Pink Floyd's The Wall follows a depressed rock star remembering his dead father and childhood. It continues by showing his empty and unfortunate life set to some music. Yagden follows a lonely teacher trying to get his custody rights back. As things start to look up for him, however, one of his students falsely accuse him of committing sexual acts in front of her. The Sweet Hereafter follows a school bus accident that killed 14 children and the lawsuit filed after. Happiness is a very dark comedy that follows several interconnected stories. Designed to show the hollowness of suburbia, we follow a child pedophile, a sex-crazed introvert, and other people you would not want to spend time alone with. Boy or Race follows the true story of a young gay man born to a fundamentalist preacher who forces him to endure a brutal conversion therapy. Spotlight follows the journalists responsible for breaking a major story about cover-ups of sexual abuse in the Catholic Church. Brothers follows the relationship of two siblings, one a US Marine and the other an ex-con. When the Marine shows back up at home after being presumed dead, tensions run high. Ladder 49 follows a firefighter stuck under some rubble, fading in and out of consciousness, remembering different parts of his life before his death. Gran Torino follows a widowed war veteran as he forms a relationship with the Korean gang member next door who tried to steal his car. We Need to Talk About Kevin follows Ava and her relationship with her son Kevin. From a young age, Kevin has shown sociopathic tendencies and hostile behavior, and it all comes to a head at the end. Dancer in the Dark follows a Czech immigrant with a degenerative eye disorder working at a miserable factory job to save up for an operation for her son. Les Miserables follows the life of Jean Valjean as he tries to escape capture from the ruthless policeman, Inspector Javert. 
Sophie's choice follows a Polish immigrant and her current relationships as she reflects on her past as a Holocaust survivor and the moment Nazi officers asked her which one of her children they should kill. American Sniper is an American war film that follows Chris Kyle, the man with the most confirmed sniper kills in US history. Precious follows an emotionally and sexually abused high school girl as she learns to read and write and make way for a new life for her and her children. Polytechnique follows various perspectives of the Montreal Massacre, an anti-feminist shooting where 14 women were murdered at an engineering school. Beautiful Boy follows a father's relationship with his son as he slowly succumbs to heroin addiction. Mystic River follows three childhood friends 25 years later as one of them grew up to be a police officer that hunts the others down. Full Metal Jacket follows a troop of American soldiers during the Vietnam War, from training at boot camps to the battlefields. The Basketball Diaries follows an up-and-coming basketball player who becomes addicted to heroin. The film also follows his friendship with his friend who is dying of leukemia. Platoon follows the experiences of American soldiers in the Vietnam War based on the real experiences of a former soldier. Only the Brave follows a segregated fighting unit of Japanese Americans during the Second World War. Keep the Lights On follows the relationship of Eric and Paul, a filmmaker and journalist respectively, who issues with substance abuse threatens to pull them apart. Seven follows the police officers tasked with finding down a serial killer who kills people based on the seven deadly sins. Atonement follows the life of a girl after a lie she told as a child destroys the life of her sister and her lover. Silence follows two missionaries who are asked to renounce their faith or suffer death. The Mist follows a group of townspeople who coop up at a grocery store once a deadly mist surrounds them. Boy in the Striped Pajamas follows the story of the son of an SS officer who begins a friendship with a Jewish boy in a concentration camp. Doubt follows a nun who begins to suspect that a priest at a Catholic school is sexually abusing a young boy. An American Crime details the heartbreaking real-life case of Sylvia Likens, where she was locked in and abused in her caretaker's basement for months. Dogtooth follows a manipulative father who keeps his children locked in to his family home. The Magdalene Sisters follows three young girls who are sent to Magdalene Asylum, a mental institution for sexually promiscuous and what were labeled difficult women at the time. Miracle in Cell Number 7 follows a mentally disabled man who is unjustly arrested and charged with murder. In prison, he begins friendships with the hardened criminals and smuggles in one of their daughters so they can meet. Hope, also known as Wish, follows the true Chu Du Soon case, in which a young South Korean girl was raped and beaten by a 57-year-old repeat violent offender who was only sentenced to 12 years for the crime. Born on the 4th of July follows a real-life story of Ron Kovic, a US Vietnam soldier who becomes paralyzed during wartime. Returning to the United States, Ron begins to turn to anti-war activism. Jacob's Letter follows a Vietnam soldier who begins hallucinating nightmarish visions in his day-to-day -day life. 12 Years a Slave tells the true story of Solomon Northup, a free man who was kidnapped and sold to work as a slave for 12 years of his life. Prisoners follows the grief and mental collapse of a father whose child has just went missing. Life is Beautiful tells the heartbreaking story of a father and son who are sent to a concentration camp together. The father tries to lighten the mood for his son by playing pretend games with him so he doesn't understand what is happening around them. The Masters follows a World War II veteran prone to violent outbursts as he struggles to return to society. Soon he becomes wrapped up with a mysterious group known as The Cause. Lady Vengeance follows a man recently released from a 13-year prison sentence for a crime she did not commit as she sets out to take revenge on those who put her there and reconnect with her daughter. Come and See is an incredibly realistic Russian war film that follows a young Belarusian boy that joins the Russian army but comes face to face with some of the most unimaginably brutal human acts. Grave of the Fireflies follows two siblings who find themselves homeless and hungry after their village is destroyed by bombs. We follow their slow descent from happy kids to hungry beggars, and the movie ends the only way it really can, by showing the true casualties of war. Hotel Rwanda follows the real-life story of a man who saved the lives of a thousand refugees from the Rwandan genocide. Dead Man's Letters follows a man living in a post-nuclear war Russia inside of a massive bunker. He writes letters to his son, but he has no actual way of contacting him. He thinks there are more survivors outside of the bunker, but nobody really believes him. All in all, it's just a really sad movie that details the miserable life of the survivors of a nuclear war. 
Schindler's List follows the story of Oskar Schindler, a man who saved a thousand Jews from death during the Holocaust. Requiem for a Dream follows the lives of four drug addicts whose addictions slowly begin to destroy them. The Pianist follows a Jewish musician from the beginning to the end of the Holocaust. It's a brutally realistic look at the inhuman treatment during the rule of the Nazi party and based on the autobiography of the same name. The Deer Hunter follows the lives of three young men as they fight in the Vietnam War. It's a brutal look at how trauma and violent acts can affect people over time. City of God follows the lives of several inhabitants of the City of God, an underfunded, drug, and crime-ridden slum in Brazil. It shows that people born in these situations are often forced to violence and drugs, which perpetuates an inescapable cycle. Johnny Got His Gun follows the life of an American soldier after he loses all of his limbs, eyesight, ears, and mouth, rendering him essentially a conscience stuck inside a body with no form of communicating with the outside world. It's an extremely depressing look at the war and the lies we tell kids to go fight in them. No Child of Mine follows the life of a sexually abused young girl. She endures routine abuse from her mother and father and is prostituted by them at a young age. It is ultimately an uplifting story though because although the movie documents her extensive mistreatment, she does go on to leave the house and make something of her own life. Antichrist follows an unnamed husband and wife who retreat to the woods after the death of their young child. As he tries to treat her, she grows increasingly more disturbed and violent. Soon, the woods and the animals themselves start warning of coming danger. Irreversible is the infamous Gaspar Noe film that follows a rape revenge story told in reverse. And that's the iceberg. What do you think is missing from the list? Make sure to leave it in the comments down below. I hope you found some new recommendations and have a great rest of your day. Peace.